Good morning, students. Today, you are going to learn how to create a maze in Scratch, and I'm going to give you a worksheet that looks just like this that has your instructions, except there's going to be only one difference with this block. You're going to need these seven scripts to make your own maze. Now, this is a simple maze, but you can make it a little fancier. Notice that there are three colors. There's one color for the walls, there's one color for your sprite that you're going to start with, in this case it's orange, and then there's a color for your goal or your target that you're going to get to so that you can win. So, the way that you're going to do this is click Create to start Scratch, and then I recommend you click your scissors. I know it sounds violent, but he will feel no pain. Click your cat, and he will disappear, okay? Because we're going to click the paintbrush, and we're going to draw our sprite using our drawing tool. So, someone tell me what color this sprite should be. Just give me a color, green. So, I'm going to choose this green. Notice that I have the rectangle, and I'm going to click here so that it's solid, and I'm just going to draw a small square like that. Now, if your um, maze starts glitching, one of the things you may need to do is click this, it's called a crosshair, but it's to set the center, and click right in the center. And that way, when you move it around, it's not going to glitch. So, now we've got our starting box that's going to begin. We can now put our scripts on that are going to help it move up, down, left, and right. So, you can look on your sheet, you're going to go to events, and you're going to drag out when this key is pressed. And I'm going to first choose up arrow. You're going to choose when the up arrow is pressed to point in the direction up, which is zero, and you're going to choose to move ten. So now when I press my up arrow, my sprite starts to go up but it's not doing anything going up, down, left, or right. Okay, you can just go back to events and drag those out, but I want to do this faster, so I'm going to right-click and choose Duplicate, and I'm going to duplicate this four times because I have to go up, down, left, and right. So now I'm going to go down, and this is on your sheet. It's going to be 180. Left is going to be negative 90, and then right is going to be 90. Those scripts allow me to now press the arrow keys right now on my keyboard and drive my uh, sprite so he, he, he moves around or she. Now I'm going to draw my maze. Instead of the sprite, I'm going to click on my stage and somebody give me a color for my stage. Okay, Madison says red. So here's the thing. You have to make sure it's a different color and you click on backdrops and now you're going to draw your um, your 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 background so you're just going to click and drag and you'll have a little bit more space on your screen but these become the obstacles that your sprite has to go around in your maze okay make sure they're all the same color okay you can make it harder than that this is not, not too difficult. Last thing I'm going to draw is my goal. What color should I make my target goal that I'm going to? Purple. So I'm going to click on purple, and with the same box that I have selected, somewhere I'm going to draw a box, and that's where I want my sprite to go in order to win. Okay? The last things I've got to do, and remember, they're right here on your worksheet, I've got to put in these three scripts. And these scripts are going to, um, first of all, tell me where to go when I start. So make sure you click on scripts for your sprite. The event is going to be when the green flag is clicked. And the first one is to just go to XY. And it um, will try to start you in the upper right corner. You can change this, but it says negative 249 149. So I'm going to make those blocks say negative 249. And what do we say this other one was? 149. Okay. And you can change these if you don't want that to be exactly in that spot. But now, no matter where my sprite is, when I click green, it starts up here in the corner. Okay. The other two that you need to do are the, the scripts that make it bounce and then make you win. All right. This is the one that's a little bit different, so try to pay close attention. These both start with the green flag, but 
instead of forever if, you have to use two blocks. You have to say forever, and then inside that, forever if. The sensing has your color, so you say forever if I'm touching, and where, what color is my wall? Red. So you've got to click here. This is a trick, so watch this closely. You've got to click in and then click on your wall. That makes this red. And the script says go back 180 degrees. So you're going to turn 180 degrees and then go back 10 steps. Now, when I do this and I touch the wall, what's happening? I can't go through the wall. And that's how a maze should work, right? That block makes you bounce. The last thing I want, it's really not glitching, it's, I'm just going down, uh, pushing down several times. The very last thing I need is this, and it's going to be events, green flag. I'm going to say control, wait until, and what color do I want to wait until I touch to win? Blue. So again, click inside this box, and then, oh no, it's not blue, what color is that? Purple. Click right on it, and it will match it exactly. You can choose something appropriate for it to say when you're done. You don't have to say you win. I'm going to say you are the man. And so now, when I play my game, I can drive my sprite, and when I touch purple, what's it going to do? You are the man. Or you can have it say, you are the woman. Or you are the champion. Okay? And those are your instructions.